Today is Liberation Day for your music library and radio DJ. That's right, I'm Jeff, the radio DJ dude, and I found a really cool workaround to free up your music kind of from the tight confines that Radio DJ puts it in. Right now you can really only program and assign a category, a subcategory, and one genre to each song. Well, come on, we need a little more flexibility than that because we're creative radio dudes and dudettes. I found a cool trick that allows you to assign multiple subcategories and genres. But enough preamble ramble, let's get to it. We are on the air. Early on, I had so many grand plans that I wanted to use Radio DJ for. I wanted to be able to run certain themed jingles that will trigger songs to do with those themes. By default, you really don't have a lot of options when it comes to assigning categories to music. Category, music, subcategory, 80s, genre, which I created pop mid. Essentially, it's really just in the song genre category. There's no way in this tab to assign this song to additional categories, like One Hit Wonder or assign it to a specific year. This is where creativity comes in, my friends. There definitely is a way to get more bang for your category buck at a radio DJ. No, no, no. The world opens up in the Others tab. Check out language alone. Look how many languages we have. No, you probably don't have a lot of songs in Volapuke or Tigrinian or Tahitian. Maybe you should, but we don't. Most of our music is in the language of our choice, the language of our audience. So this tab is irrelevant for a lot of it. It's wasted. Unless you look at language in a different way. You don't look at it for being Basque. You assign each one of these languages already programmed into Radio DJ another characteristic. For me, I'm using this language dropdown as a way to assign years to songs because I have some elements that will trigger like a year jingle. 1988! And there is a way to do this with SQL code, but I'm not a coder. So for me, the easiest way was to assign each one of these languages to a year. So 1888, 1988 happens to be Breton. Basque, and looking over at my list, is 1982. So ABC Look of Love came out in 1982. I've assigned it to Basque, and I'm using these other tabs, Start Time, Hard. I programmed that in my database to mean songs that have intros of seven seconds or more and high. So now we've added three other categories for this song. One way I use this is assigning songs to like the one hit wonder category. Before I really discovered language, I was using the in type. So I assigned the soft in type to songs that were one hit wonders. Sorry, no offense, Animotion. We love Obsession. It was a hit. Now I could play my one hit wonder jingle and it then will only choose songs with the in type of soft, which internally I know a soft in type equals a one hit wonder song. And this just so happens to be in the language category of Bengali, which is a song from 1984. And it is high energy and the gender like we discussed in a previous video, is mixed, which means its intro length is over 15 seconds. And you'll see this as a very healthy intro of 40 seconds. So now we've added a whole bunch of other tags to filter, subcategories to place this song into using these features on the Others tab. So jumping over to my Jingles for One Hit Wonders, now this would play... Are you telling me you built a time machine? The Triple X 80s. One hit wonder. Time machine. Alright, fire it up. Triple X 80s. And then it would trigger the appropriate song. How do we tell it to trigger the appropriate song? Well, that's where the magic happens in rotations. So here you see Jingle's One Hit Wonder Time Machine. And if you just look at that, it's polling from the subcategory and it's just rotating them based on least recently played. But how does it know to pull a song that's actually a bona fide one hit wonder? 
Well, that's where programming and the track rotation comes up. Music 80s, top 40 genre, in type soft. Aha, now we're getting somewhere. So now it knows to pull only songs from the one hit wonder category. And I mean, you can use any of this. Let's say your one hit wonder category is a far language because they were so afar from landing another hit. That might make sense. Another cool thing. To expand on your options, let's say you wanted to pull a song, One Hit Wonder, but it needed to be high energy. Well, since you've programmed that in your song tab, that's possible. And now you're creating more of a customized sound based on these parameters that are already available to you in Radio DJ. For example, I have a jingle in the quick sweeper category and a portion of the jingle actually plays over the intro of the song. But sometimes it requires a song intro that's a minimum of four or five seconds long. So what I've done is I've gone into the database and assigned the start type hard category to all songs that have a seven second or longer introduction, intro, to avoid any train wrecks and jingles that are stepping on vocals. For example, here is one of those quick sweepers that triggers a song two seconds in. The total runtime is about eight seconds, so I need to make sure every song that's followed by this sweeper has an intro of at least six seconds. So by setting the, those categories up and doing some light coding in the database, I'm able to pull this off. Plug in your Atari, pour yourself some Kool-Aid, Boom. and give that ratty old Cabbage Patch doll a hug. Triple X, 80s. Plug in your Atari, pour yourself some Kool-Aid, and give that ratty old Cabbage Patch doll a hug. Triple X, 80s. And I just think it sounds so much more professional to run some of your, your branding elements, your production, over the intro of songs. And this is a way to do that effectively. Here's another example. Triple X 80s. Woohoo! All right. Totally awesome radio. Triple X 80s. Woohoo! All right. Totally awesome radio. If you take a look, this is why that song worked with that jingle is the fact that the start time was set to hard, which means it has an intro of at least seven seconds. And there you have it. Oh, hallelujah. Your music's been liberated and your sound is so much more fresh and fluid. You've got more flexibility in how you program your rotations, all by getting a little creative with the already built-in features of Radio DJ. Hope you enjoyed that. I am Jeff, the Radio DJ Dude. Now, of course, there are a lot of other ways to do this that are probably more efficient, more code-based, but that's not me. I'm kind of a Radio DJ dummy. I'm <laughs> getting along using duct tape and uh, hubba bubba. So, if you have some better ideas, drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear how to do this uh, in a more elegant way. But it's a way that works for me, and I encourage you to try it out for you. Hit subscribe, and uh, next time I get motivated, I'll hit record and drop another video for you. Thanks again for your time, and please, please, please keep rocking those mics all over the world.